expired. Let's go to the great state of New York again, where Representative Stefanik is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Miss. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Banks, there's been many questions on Hillcrest, and I just want to make sure it's very clear for the record. The principal of Hillcrest High School is still employed by the Department of Education, correct? Correct. And what is his role? Uh, he's serving in a, a role working on one of the teams uh, under one of our deputy chancellors. I am told that he's director of teacher development and evaluation. Is that accurate? Uh, that. I don't know his official title right now. I'd have to double check that. That's concerning to me that you have him in a senior position. And what's very concerning about these hearings is that we're getting lip service, but a lack of enforcement, a lack of accountability. And these rules and policies matter, whether it's teachers, administrators, or students violating the rules. I want to switch to Origins High School. In October, 40 to 50 students march through Origins High School chanting death to Israel and kill the Jews. In addition, an independent investigation found that uh, a teacher who teaches global history was told by a student, quote, I wish you were killed. Another student called her, quote, a dirty Jew, and the student said he wished Hitler could have hit more Jews, including her. What disciplinary actions have been taken against those students who chanted death to Israel at Origins High School and against the student who harassed with anti-Semitic slurs that teacher? Two things. First of all, when we've done our investigation, we have found no evidence that there was any movement through the hall saying death to the Jews. We looked at, and I treat that very, very seriously. We, that was reported in the papers. We have found no evidence that that actually happened. What we have found are wide range, deeply troubling anti-Semitic things that have happened at Origins High School. This, this is the one case that has troubled me the most, Congresswoman. I will tell you that. So what are the and enforcement have, actions? I'm, I'm trying to tell you. We have, we have, in fact, suspended a number of students at that school. But currently, this case now is under litigation, and I'm being advised not to speak to the specific things that have happened there. But just know that what ha I have visited that school after these allegations have come up. I met with parents, family, staff, students. I'm deeply troubled by what has happened there, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. I can't say more because it is now under litigation. You understand our concern, though, as policymakers, when we have witnesses testify, whether it's Columbia University, Penn, Harvard, or New York City Chancellor, when there is a lack of enforcement and accountability, that there is a set of rules, but that individuals who violate those rules are not held accountable. We've, tr we've hel held a lot of people accountable. That was part, you want to hear when I gave my opening statement. But you didn't, you said you fired the principal, and it turns out the former principal I never of, said I fired the Hillcrest, principal. You did. A member, you can check the testimony, Ms. McClain asked you fired her you said yes fired the principal of who Hillcrest I never said I fired the principal Phil you check the record I never said I that. will check the record I, said I that will we check the record the Mr. Principal. Banks Mr. Banks never I was said I fired the principal she said has he been fired you said yes and then I we did moved not on say that I you will, did well you I, said would, he was I would beg to differ on we that we now know though that he is still employed by the Department of He's Education no longer at the school he has been but removed he is from his by the position of as the principal of the school. And now he That's is not the same employed thing as terminated. at the Department of Education. You testified to that. Yes. And you also said, I believe, you know, we've been told he's director of teacher development and evaluation. And you're not sure if that's the case. Our expectation is we'll get an answer by the end of today, whether that's the case or not. Absolutely. My next question is, there have been multiple teacher-led anti-Israel walkouts during school time. What are the consequences for those teacher walkouts? And do those violate policy of DOE? What I'm not sure what teacher walkouts. We've had a number of walkouts of students out of school, including several of our high schools, which are also very troubling for me. The, so the, what we, disciplinary action is taken in that case? Right. The, the challenge that we have in that case is we do not have any rules within our code of conduct that would prevent a child from actually walking out of the school. When they walk out of the school, they are marked absent. They're essentially cutting from school. There are consequences for cutting school. And we it's your testimony parents, today that there's no teacher involvement in those walkouts? Because independent media reports say that there is teacher involvement in those walkouts. I don't have any evidence of that. We have evidence of one where the principal assigned a teacher to go with a student to a protest, completely inappropriate. That principal was disciplined, the teacher was disciplined in that particular case. What was the form of the discipline? Uh, I'm not at liberty to tell you the very specific. They were not fired, but we have a wide range of discipline that takes place in those cases, and we did take action. 
And my last question is, uh, you had a teacher at Gotham Tech High School in Queens, and you've spoken out publicly against this. He posted images of a Hamas paraglider to his social media, repeatedly refers to so-called Israel. Uh, again, this is highlighting a Hamas paraglider who slaughtered Jews. We all have seen That's the horrific right. footage, who cooked babies. These are terrorists. Horrible. What disciplinary action has taken against this teacher? Again, action was taken. When we, first of all, I want to just say, I think what, what, what that employee did, absolutely disgusting. Absolutely but disgusting. What action? And we took action. What was the action? I cannot give you the specifics on the action the, that was yes, taken. Yes, you can. The, You're in, the in front of Congress. Time what time is the action? I cannot give you this on the specific employee, on this specific employee. You we can did give us an answer. You're choosing not to. That's not. unacceptable. Time has expired. Let's go to the great